Today we're making eyeglass holders for your sunglasses, reading glasses, or whatever glasses. Hi, this is Joanne with Broadcast Sunny, and uh, this is what you need for an eyeglass holder. Um, beads, these are string beads. You can also use loose beads. Those are awfully small. Um, uh, you need enough to make a 25 to 28 inches of uh, string. So the eyeglass holder, two. Um, crimp beads. Uh, bead wire. This I believe is 28 gauge, although it doesn't say it on there, on here, but it does say 0.38 millimeter. Uh, pliers wire cutters, and uh, scissors, particularly if you have seed beads. Now, with this wire being so thin, you could probably use your scissors instead of the wire cutters if you don't have wire cutters. However, I would use your, you know, everyday use scissors that you don't mind dulling if it happens. Okay, let's get started. Step one, take the bead wire and measure out 30 inches, which... I did clip cut bead wire for your 30 inches. Step two, we're gonna put on the eyeglass hook on one end. You'll start by taking a crimp bead and putting it into on one end of the bead wire. Then you'll take the eyeglass holder, slip that into the wire as well. Then loop the wire over into the crimp bead. Damn it, Jim. There we go. I'm trying not to have too much excess on the end, but bring it as close to the eyeglass holder as possible. Take your pliers onto the crimp bead and crush it, baby. Did I crush it enough? Yeah. And then this excess, you can clip off. You know what, I'm gonna use scissors. Show you scissors do work on this. This is just all purpose scissors that are kind of beaten up. Ah, see, it doesn't cut as easily as the wire cutters, but it still cuts. Okay, now for the beading. Step three. So if you decide, this is the beading. If you decide to use the loose beads, it's good practice to lay out the beads uh, how you want it before you strand them. And that's 28 inches of stranding that you want to do. Now, on the one hand, it sounds like a pain in the ass, but, oh, I I shouldn't say that. It sounds like a pain in the butt. On the other hand, you ha can make unique style of beading. And yeah, it'll be unique to you. So you can decide what you want. I decided to go with string beading because frankly I want these small beads that I have here and it does make it easy to bead. I suspect I'm gonna have some trouble getting it onto the bead wider and end up having to do it one at a time. Let's hope not. All right. So here's where scissors come in handy. I bet you you can use wire cutters. I want, I measured one half of this out to be seven inches. So two of these should be 28 inches. Cause it's one or seven, seven, 14. So two of them would be 28. So I, want to put these seashells in where the color, uh, this, the beads change color. 
and I had enough to put the put in a bead at the tip. Okay, so I'm going to put this first one in. And then I will take the color of this. This is going to be tricky. Yeah, it started already. Okay, I'll keep that over there safe. In the meantime, I'm going to take these individually because they fell apart and put them in. Okay, so I got some of the loose ones on. And now I'm going to show you how to get some beads off of a strand of beads. I actually only want it from to here because I'm going to put in a shell in between. So just, these are really tiny. Take the end, the open end without the eyeglass holder obviously, um, and just, what's the word, uh, slip them in. while it's on the string. There, I got most of it. I just missed one. And there, it goes down so simply. All right, so I like that. And now I will take the next starfish. Slip that in. And I will do it again. And I will continue to do this until I have all the seeds in. So uh, go ahead and do that. It makes the beading uh, quicker. And I'm going to go do this so I don't have a camera overhead and I could think I can do it faster. Okay. Okay, I have a tip for you. I'm starting a new strand. These strands are on string, not nylon. I think they're cotton. And oh, it's as you saw from the first time when I opened it up, it spilled everywhere. So this time, before I click it open, I am holding the beads in place. I'm going to try and strand them while they're still in a loop and that way I don't have so many to pick up off the ground. So there it is. It's in quite deep. And now let me cut it and hope I don't have a mess on my hands. Be careful not to cut the bead wire. No mess so far. And look at that. And the second tip I'm going to give you, again, this is um, a cotton, um, is to keep the beads all in line. I hold it with my fingers, as many as I can. So I can put this uh, wire through and it slides through more easily instead of instead of just laying it here and trying to uh, slip it through. So I can't, started to run out of room, so I decided to end it there because you need about an inch and a half to two inches to end it to put in the eyeglass holder. I measured this out and it came out to 27 inches. Uh, so we're gonna finish it off just like we did in the beginning. You put in your crimp bead, and your eyeglass holder. Be careful that the eyeglass holder doesn't pass the crimp bead. Then put the end into the crimp bead. And this is where it gets a bit challenging. It's okay that if there, it's a little loose, but like I said, the closer you can get it to the, so there's no moving around, the better. 
pliers, apply pressure, and then cut off the excess. And there you have your eyeglass holders. Slip in your sunglasses. give it to my mom now. I will. Okay, and there is your sunglass holder. There we go. If you'd like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.